It is not because of necessity that most indigenous Filipino moved to the Cabeceras, or why the current structures of the spatial facade seems to be very organized and near the religious places in the Philippines. Spanish colonization reshaped the current Philippine setting. In the Philippines, Catholic Church during the Spanish time should be the most impressive building and it is the visible representation of Spanish power. With the objectives of bringing all Indios into Christian communities under the church bells or Bajo de la Campana, Reduction was laid out. Reduction eventually achieved the remapping of Philippine settlement into today's cabeceras or district capitals, poblaciones or towns, barrios or barangays, and sitios or hamlets. Intramuros in Manila is one living example today of this era. It is a fortified wall that intentions were to keep an eye from invaders and house Spaniards, leading Indios, an important institution of church and state. Beyond its boastful structure exists a community, which played a bigger role in trade and commerce while in colonization. Binondo, being the oldest Chinatown in the world, is a witness of how Chinese influence is essential to the economy of the growing colony. Established in 1594, it is a home to Chinese artisans and traders, whom also known as Sangles. It is adjacent to Intramuros and across Pasig River with an objective to keep an eye on these migrant subjects. With their growing numbers due to interracial relations, it led to the immersion of mestizos and later on holding positions in the government offices with Emilio Aguinaldo as a noted personality and example, being Gobernador Silio of Cavite El Viejo, known now as Cavite Cavite.